get the business off the ground because you know how to go out and fight for yourself already. You guys know how to go out and bring the bacon home and you go through struggles but you know at least how to bring the bacon home. The brand new guys, if you're a brand new man trying to get a business off the ground, you're stuck at a job, you're going through hell. Dude, my heart goes out to you so much because, dude, I have been there. I know exactly what you're going through. You, There's nothing you can't tell me, dude. I've been there. And it sucks because uh, there's, there's something I thought of, a metaphor. It popped in my head, and this is why I want to make this video for you. I want you to think about this. I went to Florida once many years ago and there is white sandy beaches and there is this one beach called Sanibel Island there was all these beautiful white seashells everywhere and I had never seen that in my life I'm from Michigan and I'm running around like a little kid grabbing all these seashells right it was like it was amazing to me <laughs> so then I got a bucket and I'm filling up all these seashells and every time I took a step, I found another one that was more cool. It was just something I never got to do as a kid. Whatever. So by the time it was time to leave the beach, I had all these cool seashells. And I'm like, oh shit. What am I? These things weigh like 50 pounds. What am I going to do with all these? Right? So I started, I laid them all, dumped them all out. I'm like, well, I guess I'm going to have to pick the best ones that I like the most. So I go, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So I went through all of them and I found like the best 100. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have to narrow this down to like 20, right? And I ended up keeping like 50 of them. And on the way home, I got all these stupid seashells. And I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? What, what am I doing? And I was caught up in this like, just this passion in my head that made me think about life and was thinking about that and that's how life is you want to move forward but you're weighed down by all these rocks you collect or these seashells or these ideas and there might be things in your life that you love so much and you want to take with you but you can't and it's gonna feel like you're dying to leave that stuff behind or to get that person out of your life, to get away from that person, to leave that job, to leave that situation. It's going to feel like hell. But I'll tell you one thing, dude. Five years ago when I was flat broke, busted, up against the wall, totally in debt, stuck in a dead-end job, doing music shows at night, trying to get a record deal, you couldn't tell me I wasn't going to make it. I had a very wise friend once that told me, he says, you got to give up the thing that you love most. The thing, think about it. What is it for you? What is it? Ah, what is that thing you're holding on to? It could be a dream. It could be something you love to do. You know what I mean? Not a dream, but like a pipe dream. You know in the back of your head it's a pipe dream. And it really sucks. You don't want to give that thing up because it's going to feel like you don't even want to live anymore. It's done. You don't even want to live. If you can't have that thing in your life, and I would like to say, the on the other hand, if I didn't give up that big dream of mine, if I didn't leave those seashells on the seashore, I wouldn't be where I'm at today with a whole new set of problems. But, <laughs> but you're not going to get there, dude. If you're climbing up a mountain and you've got all this gear on and on the way you keep finding, oh, look, I'm going to take this bonsai tree with me, right? Oh, I'm going to take this this cool stone with me. Oh, look at this. You can't take it with you. You can't take it with you when you die either. So if you want to get to the top of that mountain, you've got to let stuff go because you can only carry so much on the rise up. You want to get your lawn care, your landscaping business off the ground? If you only got 24 hours in a day, and I know what you're going through. I know what the hell you're going through. So you're going to have to give some stuff up. When the pain of changing gets so bad that staying the same, it's easier to change, it's less painful, you'll change. When the pain of changing gets that bad. So, oh yeah, check it out. Uh, go to my website, www.thelandscapingemployeetrap.com. It's in the link below. 
and enter your email address in there so we can keep in contact because I'm, I'm finishing up my free report right now and I'm putting out some great video that's going to teach you some good stuff how to get the ball rolling fast. I need to stay in touch with you so click on the link below, go to my website, enter your name and email address and you'll be all good. I'll be back in contact with you. Later.